Hello everyone, and today I'm going to give you uh, my reaction to, not only my reaction, but my thoughts and response, essentially to the new Captain America Civil War trailer, the first trailer for this movie. This came out today, and I, of course, as always, will feature linked down below for you to check out, for you to check out this uh, trailer, or piece of trailer, essentially, and um, I just... I really loved it. I thought it was just excellent. I loved the tone. It felt so cool. It didn't feel so clear, but it felt it felt interesting. Like the tone was very much, almost maybe too much like so um, with the soldier. But I thought that was good because uh, I loved loved so um, Captain Marcus um, with the soldier. I loved that movie. It was a big improvement on the first one. Um, yeah, and uh, the second. Um, so like this movie or this trailer as a whole, I thought was really, really good. I, there's a great little timbits to it. Like I'm like we didn't really see Ant Man all that much, in it, or Spider Man, which is smart. Like they were doing the same thing with Luke, like with Spider Man, like how they're doing with Luke Skywalker and in, in the Star Wars trailers. And I like that. I love that angle for it. And um, um, also like you get to see, get to see some little timbits. Like if you're, if you've read the comic, which I have, I read it in high school. I thought it was excellent. I don't know how, I got, like my mind right now is just going so fast or so much like with all what my own little speculations. But I don't want to build it up too much to tell me because that kind of causes uh, false illusions or like I don't know for sure if they're false illusions. But that's why because I don't know if I'm going to be right or wrong. There, therefore, I kind of don't know for sure from my own mind if you know I was there's going to be some speculation I don't know there's so many pros and cons for speculations with anything with Star Wars with Civil War I don't know um, although I don't know for sure how they're going to tie in Spider-Man into all of this because if you read like I have uh, the comic of Civil War uh, Spider-Man not to spoil the comic or anything, he comes in sporadically, kind of, I would like, oh, what the, Spider-Man, what are you doing here? Or, not really spawning, but like, is it, oh, what the heck are you? So he kind of comes in, in a comic book, a bit sporadically, so it's kind of like, hell? It's like, so I don't know how, top, smart, how much running, how we're going to tie him in, although I do have faith in the writers and the directors of this movie, because it's the Russo Brothers, which I think, can again, of course, I thought it did fantastic with Captain America Civil War. I thought that was phenomenal. Um, yeah, I mean, I really, really love that. And um, this, this, my mind's just going so crazy right now. Um, oh my god, like um, the ending part, like with is like I'm sorry, Captain, and like, Captain America's talking to like like a lot of speculations with. Captain America and his old friend Bucky from the first Captain America and fighting with him against him in civil and um with the soldier. He was with the soldier. And uh, I'm just like, oh my god, like that's so interesting to the character and I, um Sebastian Stan gave an act just by the trailer on Sebastian Stan, who plays Bucky, already looks looks like he's doing a terrific job. He really gives the kind of the, the classic tormented soul who's lost control of his own cause or path and he's kind of been built up against him you know, like in the last Captain America movie which I you know, which of course I loved um yeah so I'm just I, like you can see the moment he's like I'm sorry Iron Man he's like he's my friend uh, I forgot how the line goes was, was like it's like it's like like he's my friend and Iron Man is kind of like so am I or you can clearly see that moment where his heart breaks. He's like, granted, they were like best of friends in the Avengers, in both the Avengers movies, in both the of the Avenger movies. But it's like you can kind of see they were growing a bit of respect for each other. But it's like in this movie, it's like you know, it, it kind of goes back to that tr 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 uh, traditional scene. It's like if you're not with me, you're against me. It's like what? you don't have to be so much at odds. You can see them really. Butting heads in this trailer, I'm just like I love that. And that final moment in a trailer where you see Captain America and Bucky up against Iron Man, I like that. 
although I have a good theory that Iron Man is probably holding him back because aside from Hulk and Thor, take those two out of the equation because they're not in this movie. Like, aside from those two, Iron Man is the most powerful. I sign, and I know Thor is the most powerful of the Avengers. Take out Thor and the Hulk from this equation because they're not in this movie. Iron Man is the most powerful. He really is, aside from those two. In the final scene, you like you could say, you know, well, it's two against one, and they probably have more speed. But Iron Man is so much more powerful. So in that bat, so in that scene, in that action scene, I'm just like, I'm feeling Iron Man is probably holding back, but probably for good reason because he's like, you know, I don't want to hurt. You. He's like, I don't want to hurt you, okay? You're my friend. I really, really, you, I really don't want to hurt you. You're my friend. So it's like, I want to don't defend myself, but I don't want to hurt you. So that's just my thought, what's going on right there. And I'm just like, oh, this it's going to be really hard to look, go approach this and be like, oh, which side do I take? It's like Iron Man, it's like, I like Iron Man more of a character. And I like the performance more, and I like the character more, uh, comic book and movie-wise. Or oh, movie-wise, I think the movies are pretty equal. It's like... Uh, is it Captain America 2 in the first and the third? Because I really love that. Because I really do enjoy Iron Man 3. Uh, it's like, those two movies were great. But it's like, I like Iron Man more of a character, and I like the actor more who portrays him in the performance. Almost equally as well as Captain America. But I agree with mo Captain America's more moral and ethical approach to this. So it's like, uh, I kind of personally have to give it to Captain America's side is like I'm more with Captain America for more of the you know freedom and all liberty and all that and I must just like but going too far and like um in the trailer um Black Widow she mentions to Captain America it's like don't start this don't set up don't cause too much trouble it's like don't start a fight you can't win and that kind of shows his no go attitude he's very much the OP downplayed version. I would. He's kind of like he has a moral sensibility and st and st a mindset of Superman, but not of the same caliber of power. Because Superman is one of the most powerful superheroes of all time. Where and they, they very similar mindsets. So they you can really see more the more ethical, more ethical, or more moral approach of Captain America, and that's why I gotta give my side. My my voting side, or my side to say either Iron Man or Captain America, my side will would I um, mean slightly a bit more to Captain America than Iron Man. Uh, oh well, but that's just my own thoughts on the teaser, on this trailer, everyone. I really hope you enjoy um, me giving you my thoughts. And of course, if you haven't seen it, why are you watching this? You should be watching it. Of course, as always, as, as I said before. I'll have a link for it down below as always. Uh, thank you, thank you everyone for watching as always, and I'll see you later um, today with another movie review of The Good Dinosaur. Uh, till then, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Bye.